Hello guys, uh, Evans here and welcome to this continuation of this video, the October-November 2018 um, IGCC ICT uh, paper 2. A section we started to look at the document production, we ended with step number 16 and now we continue with step number 17. So step 17 says format the first row of the table so that it is center aligned over five columns. So the first row of the table now the first row of the table in the first place um, we we have it here um, so we need to push this table a bit down so push it like that so that it is complete table like this and then let's add the grid lines um, to the entire table um, show the grid lines to the entire table so like that so now we are supposed to center this over five columns so let's add the grid lines also that one so just select that and go right click and you can do merge cells and center the cells and uh, rather the text over the five columns that's fine okay um the next thing that you're supposed to do um is to go here um it says um make sure that um the first row of the table has a white um 14 uh, point sans serif font okay and black background and it is bold and italic so we can go ahead and change some of um some of this so um, we'll make the background black we'll make the foreground white we'll make it uh, bold italic and it's supposed to be 14 and um yeah so we have 14 white and then sans serif which is calibre is fine um, then we get a black background it is um, center lined that should be fine so this one will work out we're done um, the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that the table fits within the column width and that the table is applied to the uh, table um, uh, the THM's table style is applied to rows 2 to 8 the text in each cell does not wrap and then all borders um, and grid lines are displayed when printed so we already had added, added the borders uh, when printed so the next thing we just need to verify is that there's no uh, text wrapping so just double click on on that this is supposed to be um, taken over the entire text like that okay um, so here it shouldn't be we should do this and then here it shouldn't be text wrapped so just double click there and here it shouldn't be text wrapped double click there and you should have your table like that okay um verify that you have the table that way okay um i don't know where i pressed okay so that is that um take note of this one again we're still we're still trying to track what this will come into so um, we'll see. Um, so the next thing uh, that we need to do is step 19 and we say that import the image um, n218 logo to place this below the sub in Dara mining and um, we're going to format the image so that it looks like this one in the picture. Notice we have got um, a heading on top there and we have text wrapped around the image. So uh, I like to do this um, you just take the cursor um, uh, tower mining here so you put the case at the start of the um, the paragraph there you go to insert um, pictures and then you browse to the location where your pictures are saved so mine are saved here so this is um i don't know what picture we're inserting we're inserting the n218 logo which is this one here so insert it and then once it's inserted then go ahead and wrap 
um, the text around this image. So just select square. Okay. The next thing that you need to do is to check about the dimensions we're supposed to resize. Resize it to a width of 3.5 centimeters with aspect ratio maintained. Go ahead and resize it. Um, it's very easy to resize. Just go to size and position. Make sure that lock aspect ratio is uh, selected and the dimension is supposed to be 3.5 centimeters width. So the width is this one. So make sure that it is 3.5 centimeters. Um, automatically it will change the height. So that is fine. So notice that it is now pushed to the left. So um, you want it to be arranged or aligned to um, to the left, not to the right. So go ahead and bring it there. Notice when you drag it up and down, you need to make sure that you don't just leave it hanging like there. That's not where it's supposed to be. Until you get a green line there and you create a green line on top there, then that means it is aligned to the paragraph and to the margin. Now, top of paragraph and to the left margin. Now, some of you who are using Word 2007, you may not have um, some of these features um, there, but you have to really be careful um, when you, you align this so that it doesn't go over. Okay. So this is uh, done. So make sure the text is wrapped. We just did this. We just did this. We just did this. Um, that looks good. And step 20 is done. So step 21 says spell check and proofread the document and make sure that tables and this are not split over two columns or pages. There are no windows or orphans and there are no blank pages. The house style specification has been followed and the correct styles applied as instructed. Spacing between all tables is consistent and the save um, the document using the same name as the one you saved in step one. So print the document if you want. Okay, so this one is a very short part. Um, unfortunately, I didn't go through the document section, so we didn't even know that it was going to be very short after I cut the previous video. Um, but that should be fine. Um, but again, let's go back to this text that we see here. So the text that we see here, it's kind of making it difficult for us to have this. So what I'll do is put my cursor there and push um, this paragraph um, there and move the table a bit up like that. And you have the text there. Although the text has still gone to a different place, I don't know for some reason why it goes to a different place. Um, I'll just do that and remove um, your place. So I'll just remove that and remove this page at the end. So, yeah. What, what happened? I don't know what happened. Um, I think the problem that happened was when I was splitting this text, I did not, um, I did not select the last one. So when I split the column, it did not select the last one. So this is why we have um, a different um, page at the end there. Okay, so we'll, we'll find a way of fixing this one. Um, we can put insert that. Um, we can insert a different page, or we can put a section break. Um, to start a new page so in, and we can delete this page alternatively we can come and print and eliminate this page since it's blank that's that shouldn't be fine, uh, um, a problem so guys take note of when you are splitting and selecting the text I perhaps um, did not include this um, text that was there to be part of this so maybe my case I ended somewhere there and then I did the column and the rest of the text that followed was affected. Okay. So that should be should not be there. So there's a continuous section break there. I've just showed that. So you can, we can remove this section break that is there. Um, okay. And my text, um, my text goes different. Okay. <laughs> so this is interesting, guys. Now, I already did the um, the breaking of the text in there. So let me just see if I remove this and do that. If the text, I can um, break it further into the multiple columns that it's supposed to have. So I'll select the text once more. Um, this is not supposed to happen, by the way, guys. Um, it's me who did not select the text initially um, uh, properly. Uh, perhaps I left one part of the text. So go to more columns, select two, and set them to be two centimeters apart. 
okay and that should be perfectly fine um yeah that should be good so just verify that everything is okay and the spacing is consistent and you are good to go okay good all right so um then we can go ahead and delete the last um page that we have i don't know if i remove the section break there let me just verify that um i still have a continuous section break which i'm not supposed to have um there i'm not supposed to have this continuous section break and perhaps this is why i keep on getting um some of these i'm not supposed to have this paragraph here there there um not supposed to have that so should end just there so let me try one more time to just run the um the text mm -hmm. so these are some of the things that um uh, you need to be careful on when you work on a document okay so don't take things for granted um let's go ahead and um, attempt one more time uh um we're doing columns more columns um two columns and um like that if it does um happen again then <laughs> we say that we quit <laughs> No, it doesn't happen. So we 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 don't have. So we perhaps um, left out um, some text um, when we're supposed to delete. Um, so there was a section uh, continuous break here. Uh, for this one, it's fine because it's just splitting um, this paragraph here uh, with the next um, line here, so that the top paragraph doesn't be, get to be split into um, multiple columns. So this one is perfectly fine because of the way we arrange that okay so then we can disable this and go ahead and print this document okay so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video when i solve for you um the data manipulation section maybe and um uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um thank you so much for all the subscriptions so far and um, um, um i'll see you in the next video